charm sits on the edge of a rock jutting out from a hillside that looks over a burnt forest laced with snow from the late spring snowfalls. She walks upon the land and wonders if this is the place she will raise her pups alone. There is no room in her heart for a mate, no love that she can spare for any other male or even female, only room for pups, for children. That is the only family she wants now. After a brief moment, she decides that this is it. Her pups are coming, and this small, rocky side in this hill will have to be good enough because she can no longer wait. This is her home now. She's excited to see her babies. She's excited to give them names and love them. This is a story of a broken winged phoenix trying to rise from the ashes once more. Hi there, my name is Kepi Kate, and welcome to a new Wolf Quest series with Charm called Broken Wings. And as you learned from the intro, Charm is alone and without a mate. She has given birth to her third litter of pups at age seven, alone. She has three boys and two little girls for which I will need names, but this is the first company she's had in a long time. The past two years have been hard for her. She hasn't been able to connect with any other wolves, but she still desired a family. And so after becoming pregnant, she ran off to a strange land, the land of Lost River. She is here to heal, to accept and to move on, but mostly to raise pups who love her and don't know her past. We're gonna do this series a little differently. I had tried very hard to come up with a goal, quirk, flaw, and pack point that would work for Charm. But in this series, we're going to just tell her story. We're going to discover what her goal might be based on what happens with other wolves in Lost River. And so for now, her only goal is to raise this family. And that's what we're going to do. The challenge is that we will be playing without a mate. And here they are. Look at these little babies. So there's little 3M. Hello, my love. How cute. We've got little 2F. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is so adorable. I need this in my life. <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay, sorry. I had to take that moment. <laughs> A little daughter. There's 3F, another little daughter, 2M, and 4M. So Charm from the very beginning has always been a mother. She loved being a mother. And I think that's what she regrets the most about her second litter was she was so driven by vengeance that she didn't get to love her family as much as she might have wanted. And so for now, she just wants to focus on being with her puppies. That's all she wants. And it looks like they love their mother already. First day out of the den and they still can't get away from her. This is going to be a challenge with not having a mate, I've done it before with the Ultra Iron Wolf Challenge. She will not go and find one. So there will be dispersals that might come up and be like, hey, I could be the new dad, but she's not gonna go for any of them. She wants to have this journey alone with her pups and her only, but it's going to be hard. She had a difficult pregnancy and so territory was hard to manage. And you can see, how bad it is. It's very bad. <laughs> We're practically doing no vacancy right now. We are going to roll for difficulty. 
I have a system in place, but I don't want to tell you what it is because it's supposed to be a surprise, but I will be rolling. So I'll do that now and I'll let you know what I get. Good news is we'll be playing on challenging and not accurate. I didn't get an easy roll, but that's okay. All right, pups. Mom's got to go hunt. Look at these babies. I can't wait for y'all to pick names. Oh, little 2M is like, but mom. Okay. <laughs> y'all, I love puppies in this game. It makes me want puppies. <laughs> All right. Time to take territory and find some food. We are not in a good place right now. I showed you the map, which is really bad. She's gonna have to work on doing both at the same time. And we already have stranger wolves that are checking us out and making Charm a bit nervous. I actually chose this location specifically for Charm. I absolutely love, love <laughs> this location because it is a true representation of life beyond death. There was obviously a fire here that burnt the trees down, but within all of the ashes, these beautiful flowers have grown. And so it reminds me of Charm. She has gone through so much turmoil, whether it happened to her or she did it to herself. And she's trying to rise above that. Oh, now this is a fortunate find. Looks like elk enjoy this area as well. Charm is going to see if any of them could potentially feed her and her family. She's found one, but it's led her into another pack's territory and it's making her nervous, but she has got to feed herself. There we go, she has taken down her first kill on her own. But wolves are already approaching from the distance. She's gonna have to eat quickly and move on. Actually, she's going to take a chance. She's wondering if those wolves that she saw out of her peripheral were actually dispersals that weren't in their own territory. So she's gonna see if she can't take this spot for her own so that her kill is safe for her to come back to. It looks as though she was right and she was able to take this hex very easily. A storm has started to brew and the rain is falling and Charm feels worry for her pups. She's taken a few hexes and her territory is looking much better. Now it's still terrible, but it's looking much better and she feels confident in her ability to go home and check on her pups. Another elk herd. This is helping Charm feel a little more at home, knowing that this place that she's come to is still going to feed her and her puppies. Mom has brought more food to top you off, and then I think they're going to sleep in the den tonight. So I wanted to take a moment and look at weights, and it seems to me like we don't have a runt, although I have been shocked to find out that we had a runt when they weren't really small. But it looks like all these pups are pretty even with the exception of 3M and 2F are just a little bit smaller and 2M is a big boy. He is definitely the big older brother that everybody counts on. <laughs> I cannot wait to figure out what y'all want to name these puppies. In fact, let's take a moment. Let's look at them up close to help y'all with names. So 2M is definitely a red baby, taking very much after his mother, who is a ginger-coated wolf. He loves to play, is trying to coax his mother into play, and does seem to be very much into his family. In fact, they all do. Except for 2F, apparently. <laughs> 3M is exploring the rocks right now. He seems to have a lighter coat with a ginger face. I have seen this pup coat a lot, and I'm wondering if it's the Agni Kai coat, but I could be wrong. I still don't know the coats by heart. Some of y'all are like, oh, that's that's definitely that coat. And I'm like, how do you know these things? 
Here is 2F, who is also a very light colored baby, a little more solid, and is trying to play with her big older brother, who's loving it. It seems like she is trying to find her place in the family, whether she kind of wants to be on her own or just wants to play with everybody. And then here is 3F, who's just a little bit darker on her back, but she does still have that ginger face. And boy, does she look as plump as ever. And now she's trying to play with her sister. Oh, Rollies! And then we have little 4M, who is kind of the odd one out. No ginger on his coat. He is definitely a gray boy. I can't wait to see what he looks like. Oh, trying to play with mom. But now that all of them are fed, she's going to wolf them into the den so they can get out of the rain and the storm. They can snuggle up together, stay warm. 3M, that means you too. <laughs> Braving the storm by yourself, son, come on. I just love the way the new dens look on the inside. Like I do actually feel like I am underneath a large rock they have designed this so well. It's still night. The winds are blowing off the mountains as the storm goes on its way. But Charm needs to make sure her belly is full so she can feed her pups while they relax in the den. They were restless during the storm and so they're still very tired. But this is just an extra opportunity for her to take more territory as well. She won't have long as the pups will get restless, but she needs to take every second she can while they're sleeping so she can play with them while they're awake. And we're back. Charm decided that she needed to feed the puppies first before she went and did anything else. They were already a bit anxious from the storm, and so she wants to give them some play and some comfort letting them know that she's here, that nothing could possibly hurt them while she's here. It brings me a lot of joy and a lot of sadness to play Charm. She has been through a lot. She has made bad decisions, but decisions that she felt were just, and she struggles with that so much. She misses Aspen desperately still. Giving the collar away to her son, Acer, was not enough to let him go. If anything, it made it worse. Because now the piece of him that she had is lost forever. Acer is on his own now, and while he loves his mother, and she is sure that he'll see her again. It could be a long time now. And Acer doesn't exactly know where she is, and she's not sure that she wants them to know. She's trying to escape that life and start a new one. Instead of going out again, she decides to sleep under the stars with her pups and think about Aspen. Sick puppy, no! I want this to be a good experience, not a bad experience. 4M has fallen ill now, and they're very light. Charm awakens to a pup, her youngest son feeling warm, seemingly a bit dazed, and she's worried about him. He's feeling so unwell that he doesn't want to be around his siblings, and that makes her worried, but she urges him to eat. She's seen sickness before. It's nothing she hasn't dealt with but it always scares her. It doesn't matter how many times she's healed a sick pup, there's always the chance that they don't make it. Charm hears other wolves nearby and she ushers the pups into the den. Their howls don't seem threatening by any means, but she's still nervous, not really trusting other wolves at all with her precious children. She wants to take care of her youngest son, but she needs to make sure there's no threats and she needs to fill her belly once again. The mists are heavy this morning. She loves the way it looks along the land. Ah, dogs. This is something Charm has never had to deal with before. 
And she's annoyed by these lesser beasts chasing them off pretty easily, but their bite does sting. She doesn't like it. The rain has come again, and the mist still lingers on the land. Some of the movement in the mist makes her nervous, but some of it seems ethereal and misplaced. She thinks she sees something. A wolf, maybe? But then it's gone. 